Guys, in this video, I'll be building a simple application which can convert any text to an audio MP3 file. So you can see the sample of the application on the screen. So I'm going to put some text here and click on generate audio to see what this application can do. So let's put a text here. So I have some text here that I would like to generate an audio file for this. So I'm going to click on generate audio to do that. So let's click on that and see what happens. So you can see that it has downloaded some mp3 file into my downloads. I'm going to open it. Dangerous. Don't mess with it. So you can see that this application is able to convert any kind of text input that you are going to give it here to a audio mp3 file. So to build this application, we will be using a OpenAI API. And this is going to be a full stack project where we will be building a Node.js backend using an express server and on the front end. We are going to build this application using React.js. So this is going to be an interesting project. Stay tuned till the end of the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. So I'll be building this application from scratch and you should be able to find the timelines in the description if you want to jump to any part of the video that you are more interested in. Now let's go to the Visual Studio Code and start coding this application. I have a new folder open in my Visual Studio Code and in this folder I'm going to initialize a Node.js project and quickly set up an express server. So let's initialize this project by using npm init. So now this project has been initialized. You can see package.json here. I'm just going to add my start script here, which is going to be nodemon server.mjs. So you don't have a server.mjs file here, so I'm going to create it server.mjs and i'm also going to install some packages into this application so these packages are going to be nodemon and we are also going to need an express server and we are also going to need some more packages like course and body parser to be able to set up a basic node.js server so let's install all these packages in this application so now let's run this application by using a command that is npm start and i'm going to set up a basic express server so i'm just going to import my express from express i'm also going to import some packages like course from course and i'm going to import body parser and let's create a express server now and this is going to be listening on port 3000 so let's set it up on port 3000 So we have a basic express server here that's and it's listening on port 3000 and i'm going to create my first endpoint that is going to be get endpoint in this application and this is going to return just a text that is hello world so we can test if our node.js server is working fine on localhost 3000 so let's go to the browser and refresh it so you can see that it's successfully returning a text that is hello world so our Node.js server is working fine. In addition to that, I'm also going to use some middlewares that I have imported here. So I'm just going to be using my course as a middleware. And I'm also going to be using a body parser because we are going to be receiving some requests from the front end and we should be able to receive the body in JSON format. So that's our basic express server ready to go. So now let's look at the OpenAI API documentation. I'm on the OpenAI API website and here if I scroll down, that's the API that we are going to use in this project and this API is capable of converting text to speech. So if I open this link and scroll down a little bit, so here I should be able to find the code that we are going to use to convert our text into audio. So I'm just exploring the code that they have provided for Node.js. So we are going to be using this chunk of code in our Node.js application and see how this is going to work. So I'm just going to first copy all the imports from here and go back to my Node.js server, which is ready to go and here in the imports i'm just going to add these packages so basically we are importing the file system path and uh, open ai from open ai but to make these imports we have to actually also install this using our npm command so i'm just going to install open ai into this application fs and path so let's hit enter and install all these packages so i'm just going to save this so we don't have any errors it's all good so let's go to the documentation again and here in the documentation i'm just going to copy this entire code from here and paste it right above my get endpoint 
So we have all the code that we need from OpenAI to be able to convert text to audio, but we do have to make some changes in this code. So we can see that they have a main function and that is accepting the input as a text that we want to convert. And then it's uh, creating a buffer out of that and it's returning a buffer audio. So to make it work, the first thing that we have to do is in the OpenAI, we have created an OpenAI. If I, let's say, try to save this, I'm going to land into errors here. So if I just see the error, we can see that because we are not passing any API key into our OpenAI module. So API key is mandatory. So we'll go to the OpenAI and pass API key here. And that's the way we are going to pass API key. And this is going to be my API key. So I'm just going to install another package by using npm command that is .env because I'm going to create a env file in this project. And here is going to be my open AI API key. So I'm just leaving it empty and we'll see how to get this API key. And here in the open AI, I'm just going to first import .env. And somewhere in the application, I just have to say .env.config so it can read all the environment variables from my .env file. Now let's pass the ABC for now just to test if my .env is working fine. So here in the terminal, let's console log process. I'm just going to copy my OpenAI API key. So, so we'll try to console log it just to see if it's able to read the .env file. So it's able to read the .env file, it's all good. Basically, we have to pass this process.env variable here in the API key. So I'm just going to remove console log. So now we have to go back to OpenAI and see how we can get this API key. So I'm here on an OpenAI API website again. Once you log in, you should be able to see this kind of dashboard on OpenAI. And here is a link to create API keys in this dashboard. So this is where you go and create your own API key. I already have mine, so I'm just going to put it in my .env file and of course I'm not going to share it. So as of now this API is actually paid so you do have to set up your billing information into OpenAI to be able to use this API. So now let's go back to the project. So here in the project I do have a OpenAI API key so now that error is gone and we are able to see that server is running back again. So now we are going to make some changes in this get endpoint. So in this get endpoint OpenAI has provided us a function that is a main function and this function is able to accept the input text that we are going to deliver to this and this function is going to convert this text into audio and return it to us. So in my get endpoint, I do not want to return hello world here. I actually want to return audio file in my get endpoint and this audio file is going to be generated by the input text that we are going to pass to this main function. So I'm just going to comment this and we are not going to need this. So here I'm going to call my main function and this main function is going to be converting my text into audio. So here I'm going to pass a text that I'm going to convert into audio. So I'm just going to say I am an AI generated sound. So I'm also passing the response variable here into the main function. So I'm going to make some changes into my main function here. So my first parameter is response and my second parameter is text. So I'm just going to replace the text that I'm providing as an input to this function. And this text is going to come from my get endpoint, which I'm already passing here. So in return, this function is going to give me a audio. So I'm just going to say response.send buffer. And buffer is basically the output that we are going to get from this API. And this is going to be the mp3 buffer. So I'm just going to send that buffer back as a response on this get endpoint. So now let's save this and test it on our browser. So if I open my application on the browser and try to get my endpoint here, you can see that it immediately just downloads the file in my downloads. And if I open this file, so this file, we should be able to open it in any window media player. And if I try to open this, I generated sound. I generated sound. So now you can see that our API endpoint is working fine. As soon as I just try to get that endpoint, it immediately returns me with the audio file here. So everything is working fine and the audio text it's generating is being passed here. So because our application is working totally fine and get endpoint is able to return the audio file. So finally, we will go to the front end and build the front end of this application. And that's where we will get this audio file from the back end. But the thing is this input text should be coming from the front end so i'm just going to make a minor change here i'm just going to convert this endpoint to post endpoint so it can receive the text from the front end and here in the text i'm just going to say request dot 
body dot text and this text is going to be received from the front end so that's all on the back end side now let's go to the react js application and try to integrate this back end endpoint into front end so guys here we are on the front end application and we'll try to build the interface to generate an audio using our back end endpoint that we have built using node.js and the server is still running on localhost 3000 and our front end application is running on 3001 so let's go to the visual studio code and let's remove all the default code in this react application so in this react application i'm going to be using material ui to build the interface so let's go to the browser and search for material ui install and let's install material ui into this application by using the command here so here i can copy this command and go back to my application and install material ui so while it's installing i'm also going to go back to my documentation and if i scroll down i'm also going to install material ui icons in this project so let's copy that as well and install material ui icons now let's start building this project here so here i'm just going to import some components that is text field from material ui and a button and in our application we are going to have one text field and i'm just going to place it here and we are also going to have one button here and this button is going to be basically generate an audio so in this div tag i'm just going to put some styling to this and i'll say that display should be flex and my flex direction can be column and here in my button also i'm just going to put some styling here so this button can have a background color black and in my text field also i can mention some styling here so basically in my text field i'm going to say my width should be 300 pixels and in my entire div tag i'm also going to assign some margin top margin top can be five percent let's make it 10 so let's have a look in the browser how this application is looking so it's not looking great as of now so we are going to fix that so in the button i'm just going to say my width should be 300 pixels same as my text field and if we go back that's how it's looking now so i'm just going to bring everything in the center of the page so here in the button i can also mention that my variant of this button should be contained and in my entire div tag i'm just going to bring everything on the center of the page by using align items to center so now let's look at the browser now so this is looking good we have a text field we have a generate audio button and i'm just going to put some spacing between these two so here because i'm using the flex layout so i'm just going to mention the gap to be 10 pixels and if i do that it's just going to create some gap between the text field and the button so let's use some icons as well so i'll go to material ui and i'll just go to material ui icons and here i should be able to find a lot of icons from material ui because we are using text to audios i need some icon related to audio so i can just search an icon i like this one and i can probably use this import it into my react app and here right above the text field i can just place my icon and i can assign a styling to this icon and the styling can be font size which will be 200 pixels let's save this and see on the browser so that's how our application is looking now but we do not have any logic written here the button is doing nothing text field is also doing nothing so we are going to put some event listeners on my text field and the button so in my application i'm just going to create a variable that is text set text and this is going to be the use state variable and let's initialize this with a empty value and when somebody will type something in my text field so here i'm just going to put an on change function so whenever user is going to be changing the value on the text field i'm just going to set it to text by using something called event dot target dot value and on the button i'm just going to put an event listener so when somebody will click on the button i'm just going to name the function as handle download audio and here above the return statement we are going to create a function that is handle download audio and if i do that and if i go back to my application now we can see that we can type some text and there is an event listener here but as of now uh, nothing is written in the function so that's where we are going to write all the logic we will try to make an api call to the back end when somebody tries to put some text here and generate an audio so we'll make a api call here and in that api call i'm going to be passing my text and i should be able to get in return my audio mp3 file on the front end so to make a api call i'm just going to be using a library that is axios so i'm just going to install it and here on the top i can import axios from axios and this is where we are going to make a api call to our backend 
so i'm just going to post something because my backend is still running on my local host 3000 so that's the url i'm going to use to make a call and while making a call to my backend i should pass a text and this is going to be the text that is going to be converted to audio and this is the variable that we are going to pass it in the text so i'm just going to say let my audio is equal to this and we are going to await this and this is going to be the async function so that's how we are going to be making api call to the backend and in addition to the body that i'm passing to the backend i'm also going to say that the response type that i'm going to receive from my backend should be blob blob is basically the file and this is going to be the audio file that we are going to receive so now once we have an audio from the back end we need to find a way to download that audio as soon as somebody is clicking on the button so when somebody will click on the button the call will go to the back end back end will respond with the audio file and we need to have a function here that should be able to download that audio file into our downloads folder and to do that i'm going to be using one npm package that is js file download so i'm just going to install that here by using a npm command and this is going to be js file download so let's install this package into this application so once we have a package installed i can import file download function from my js file download here and i'll be using this file download function to download my audio so here i can say file download my audio dot data and here i can mention the name of the file that i want to assign so that file can be ai generated audio dot mp3 so let's recap what's happening here in this function so when somebody will type something into text field and click on a button we are going to make a call to the backend and we'll pass that text to the backend and once we have an audio file returned from the backend i'm just going to use my file download function to download that audio on the front end so let's save this and test our logic on the front end so let's go to the front end and i'm just going to refresh my application so here i'm going to put some text for example this is my first audio that i'm generating using ai so let's do that and let's click on generate audio so as soon as we click on generate audio you can see that it has created a file that is ai generated audio.mp3 and if i open that file this is my first audio generated using AI. This, this is my first audio generated using AI. this is my first audio generated using AI. so now you can see that it has exactly converted this text into audio so that's how we can use chat gpt text to speech api and build this feature into our react applications so if you found a value in this video and you have learned something new subscribe to the channel leave a like on this video and i'll see you in the next video